With fewer people on the roads, lately our view of the mountains seems a little less hazy. I think the planet's breathing a little bit. I think everyone's taking a time out. Now that temperatures are on the rise, people are getting outside to soak up the sun. But we have seen that there is a reduction of traffic on the uh, on the roads, so I intuitively know that there's there's fewer emissions and thus fewer uh, less air pollution. Though it may look and feel nice, the warmer weather poses a threat. We get into these conditions where we have these long, cloudless, hot days and not very much wind, that's when you see those conditions starting to set up that really can produce a lot of ozone. Ozone is created when things like vehicle emissions break apart under intense sunlight. During the summer, it builds up in our environment and in our lungs. Ozone is an oxide, and when you breathe it into your lungs, it, it's kind of akin to giving your lungs uh, a sunburn. So it, it can aggravate existing uh, lung conditions like asthma, and it can also put stress on your heart. The Utah Department of Environmental Quality has begun issuing alerts for ozone pollution in 12 of Utah's 29 counties. So ozone is an emerging air pollution and health concern here in Utah, and that, that occurs in the summer. The DEQ suggests protecting yourself by limiting physical activity to early in the morning or later in the evening before ozone levels have a chance to build up. You can also check the current ozone level on the DEQ's website. Amy Ney, Fox 13 News, Utah.